Hello, everyone. Hope you're having a great day today. It's Kay. And I actually have two leads for you today, and both of them are part-time. One is a temporary part-time position, and the second one is a long-term part-time position. So the temporary one is mainly for someone who's looking for seasonal work, where you're just saving up for something that you want to, um, you know, for something in particular on a short-term basis, or it could be for the quickly approaching holidays, which is what most people um, get seasonal jobs for. So that's what that one is tailored to. If you want something that you can work part-time on a long-term basis, and that's where the second one comes into, it is a permanent part-time position. So let us let me start with the first one. And the first one is with Bobble Bar. They're hiring for temporary part-time customer care associates. And this is mainly to work the nighttime weekend shift, and it is remote. Okay, Bubble Bar was founded in 2011 and has quickly become an industry leader in the accessory space. And their motto is, is embellish every day. And quite literally, the brand has consistently aimed and succeeded at, at ensuring every customer can express themselves with ease. Now, this Bubble Bar has quickly grown and um, has partnered with some pretty big big names out there such as Disney, NBA, and the NFL. And the brand is available on bubblebar.com and in over 300 premier retailers globally, including Nordstrom's, Bloomingdale's, Neiman Marcus, Ulta, Harvey Nichols, and Revolve. And Bubble Bar's exclusive line at Target is called Sugar Fix. Now, I'm not sure if you're familiar with Sugar Fix, but I've seen their jewelry before and it really, really is beautiful, very stunning. So if you're in the Target, um, the next time you're in the Target, you may wanna stop by their jewelry just to see what it's all about. Now they do have it at all the Targets throughout the US. And in this role, what they want you to do is just really assist their customers the best way that you can, give them the best service that you can. And you will do that by quickly and efficiently answering customers via email, phone, text, and live chat. You'll listen emphatically to customer feedback and use it to improve their site and processes where possible. You'll act as the eyes and ears of the website. In the words of the MTA, if you see something, say something. You'll troubleshoot user experiences on bubblebar.com and be the first to flag customer facing issues on the site. And you'll work collaboratively with their operations, merchandising and sourcing teams to solve broader in site inventory and processing issues. You'll provide a minimum of 25 hours per week of customer support during the evenings, holidays and rotating weekend hours after the initial training period. And the role will be 100% remote anywhere within the U.S. And it is a temporary role that will last approximately 10 weeks. So that's about two and a half months that you would be working this and you would have a chance to save up some, some cash for whatever, whatever goal that you have. Now, what they would like from you is a bachelor's degree in communications or related field is preferred but not required. So if you don't have a bachelor's degree, it's okay. You can still apply and they would consider you. A strong work ethic, uh, top-notch written and oral, oral communication skills, and high standards when it comes to customer service, online customer service experience, and working knowledge of Zendesk, Shopify, and or NetSuite is a huge plus. So if you don't have experience in either of those, don't worry if you're interested in this position, still apply, they would consider you. Proficiency using G Suite, such as Google Docs, Sheets, et cetera. Internship or work experience within retail or e-commerce. You love accessories, of course, which is what they do best. And if you're wondering about the accessories at Bobble Bar, I am gonna take you to their website so you can take a quick peek. I took a peek and I'm sure you'll love it too. So let's go over there now. So this is Bubble Bar. And as you can see, they really do have some beautiful, beautiful jewelry. So this will give you an idea of what the customers are calling about when they call about the jewelry or anything that they purchase. 
Okay, I love the Disney pendants. The necklace is really, really nice. Really beautiful. I especially like these necklaces down here. I like how they put them on the person so you can get a feel for what it will look like on you. Looks really nice. And the price isn't that bad. However, if you are working a seasonal job, you're usually saving up for something in particular. So you don't want to spend your, all your money on this beautiful jewelry. So just be careful, try to stay focused and on track and um, don't lose sight of what you're working for. All right, so what I'm going to do is leave this link in the description. And when you click on it, it'll take you directly to this page. I would encourage you to just read through everything again so you know all about Bobble Bar and the position. And then when you're ready to apply, the application is actually down below. And as you can see, they ask some very general questions right here. And then there's a section here that you can upload your resume and your cover letter. And then they ask a few more general questions right here, then you're done and you can hit submit, submit application. Okay, for those of you looking for more of a long-term part-time position, the second one is for you. And that is with Reef. Reef, they are hiring for employee resource desk, resource desk work from home, part-time, Saturday and Sunday, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. And this is work from home within the USA and Canada. Okay, and Reef's mission is to connect the world to your blog. They transform underutilized urban spaces into neighborhood hubs that connect people to locally curated goods, services, and experiences. And what you'll be doing in a nutshell is um, as a workforce analyst, which is what you'll be, is responsible for customer experience, contact center resource planning, and reporting, including forecasting workload, scheduling, implementing real-time adjustments, checking and approving submitted timesheets and assistance with program issues. Now, all of those tasks is actually all included in here, just a little more in-depth information. So I'll let you review that on your own. Um, what they want from you, these are some of the experiences or skills that they want from you, is one or more years of experience in workforce management, preferably in contact centers with at least 75 employees, three or more years of contact center operations or equivalent work experience, strong analytical ability and proven experience of converting data to actionable information, a willingness to learn new software applications, ability to be highly organized with an emphasis on accuracy and timeliness, with the ability to organize information and accurately follow procedures, ability to work alone with minimum supervision and with others in a team environment, exceptional communication skills with the drive to affect positive change in a collaborative environment, and expertise with variant WFM and or 59 contact center is a strong asset. Okay, so if you are interested in this, in this role, I will have this link in the description and click on it and you'll be taken to the exact same page and you can apply. I encourage you again to read through everything because I briefly went over it with you. Read through everything so you know all about the role and the company. And when you're ready to apply, the application is down at the bottom. Okay, they ask very general information. There's a section where you can upload your resume and then they ask a few more general questions. And then they also have the voluntary self-identification. Now this is voluntary. You know, you can answer it if you iffy about answering that, that's okay. I, I believe that you still have to put in a, an answer here and they do give you the option to opt out. Like right here, it says, are you Hispanic or Latino? If you click on it, you can put yes or no or decline to self-identify. All of these questions will have a decline to self-identify. So if you don't want to answer it in the application, you can do that. And that wouldn't be a problem. That wouldn't disqualify or anything. It is, keep in mind, it is voluntary. So that's up to you. And so once, you, once you're done, down at the very bottom, you just submit your application and you should be good to go. So other than that, I wish you guys 
All the best. Thanks so much for stopping by. I'll have more leads for you soon. And I hope you have a great rest of your day and God bless.